Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be doing a video on, that's right, garlic. So this is one of my absolute favorite crops to grow this time of the year. Another garlic video, really? Yes, we're doing another garlic video. Oh, oh boring. No, it's not boring. Why would you talk about this anyway? Because it's one of the easiest crops to grow. That's why we're doing it. And we love garlic. And we love garlic. Yes, thank you. Heirloom hardneck. Yes. So what we have here is an heirloom hardneck garlic. That's what we're going to be planting this year. And as you can see, it's kind of got a little bit of a purple color. Now, personally, I love the flavor of the purple garlics. They just have a nuttier, richer flavor to me. Now, the good news is, is that once we have planted these out, not only is this a crop that is very easy to grow and really, really wonderful for us to eat, but it also puts really good pest deterrent properties into the soil. So any of those bugs in the spring, summer that show up, they're gonna go to ground and lay their eggs, they'll die. So it also has the dual bonus of being something that you can eat and helping prevent pests. So let's go on ahead and show you how we're going to plant these guys out real quickly. Go ahead. Um, this year we're using um, an actual allium fertilizer from King Garlic. And that's where we've gotten our garlic. So I'm just going to spread, spread a handful down in here in the trench. Put my garlic down in here. Flat end down, pointed tinned up, about four inches apart for regular sized garlic. Shove them in here. We got nine cloves of garlic here. Now that we've got them in the hole, we're just gonna cover them back up. Let them go night night for the winter. Hopefully come spring, garlic. Okay, so as you can see, planting garlic really is an easy peasy job. It is also one of the most rewarding things, especially in the early spring when there's really not a whole lot out here in March. Having something coming up that's green and lush and kind of full looking just kind of allows you to take a deep breath and know that the garden season is about to really go into full swing. Now, the good news about the hard neck garlic and soft neck garlic, so if you can't get hard neck garlic, don't sweat it. You can go on ahead and plant soft neck garlic just as successfully as a hard neck garlic. The main differences for us between the hard neck variety and the soft neck variety and why we're going with the hard neck variety is because it is a little bit more cold tolerant. Now, if you are somebody who enjoys garlic braiding or the look of garlic braiding, go with a soft neck garlic. The main thing with soft neck garlic and why I don't do any garlic braiding in our area is basically because we are a very wet climate so they never seem to not mold when they're in a braided um, chain so to speak. But this really is an awesome crop especially for a beginner. Just make sure to fertilize really really well and you will have really nice heads of garlic. So fertilize and give them space and it doesn't matter which variety you choose, you will have a glorious head of garlic one way or the other. That's all I've got for you guys today. So I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm going to link at the end of this video, planting soft neck garlic, because we have planted soft neck garlic previously. So I'll link that down here at the end of the video. Also, don't forget to join our Soil Fertility 101 waitlist so that guide is coming very very soon i'm very excited about it if you want a high yield garden in a small space like what we have here we are going to walk you through how to get the soil that allows you to get the crop yield that you're looking for so join the wait list it's totally free it gives you early access it also gives you early bird pricing so you've really got no reason not to sign up for that as always keep it simple natural and essential we'll see you on the next video bye